welcome back to Trails of Cold Steel 3. And holy heck, a lot has happened. There have been several, and I do mean several, blocked cutscenes that for whatever reason just will not allow me to record during that unless I have outside recording equipment. As I am using my PlayStation to record all this, it's just something I gotta deal with. Hopefully, you've been playing the game yourself and following along. All right, so to give you a recap of everything that's gone on. We had left off with Reen about to dance with the princess. And he chose to dance with both Elise and the princess. And good times were had. We were then invited to go and speak with the Emperor, who gave us a little bit more background on not only the Black Records, but some other important things as well. The fact that he knew not only about Valimar's past and how he was once Emperor Dreykel's Divine Knight, just his knowledge of the Black Records in general is was just like mind-blowing after our chat with the emperor we had a chat with gilliath osborne who went into a little bit more detail of reen's own past and his can his own past as well uh, we also learned the name of reen's mother during all this another cutscene had happened where Ash had infiltrated the inner workings of the palace under the pretense of having to find the restroom. He eventually made his way to the room of the Emperor, who was then at the time having another meeting with Chancellor Osborne. Ash then proceeded to pull out the gun that he had found on one of the Calvardian spies and shoot the Emperor. He is now being detained as a Calvar potential Calvardian spy, so he is not with us. Altina has also gone away under the pretense of looking after Ash, because as of this moment, we don't know if Ash has been controlled or not. While he was holding a gun to the Chancellor and to the Emperor, he was so Rounded by a, like a black mist, a black aura, and his left eye was glowing, almost like he had been cursed. Osborne called him the sacrifice. After all of the events of that, what followed was another series of cutscenes where martial law was declared across the country. And now there's also been talks of military drafting. As it stands now, we are past all of that and I didn't even go into half of what went down. I honestly cannot explain all of what went down. It, I mean, I'm just amazed. Just tell me what you need. Come again. Gotta restart. Now, as it stands, we're gonna pick up this Imperial Chronicle extra issue. I've already went ahead and got Take care. battle scopes and whatnot. Did you we can need buy something? medicine here if we need to. I think we're okay for now. I'm I'm still kind of reeling with everything that's happened like it, it's definitely been a thing and I wish I could have shown it on screen
but we're going to try and get a little bit further. We are now within the final chapter of the game. That was the other main thing. So we are nearing endgame here, folks. Ash was also from Hommel. That was another major thing that they dropped on us. He was a third survivor. <laughs> Thanks. Hmm. Well, he doesn't have better equipment for us. See ya. Have a look, see. But we can definitely upgrade that. Be well. I highly doubt it, but do you have any? What should I enhance? Nope. Uh, be careful. See, I am tripping out really, uh, like, a lot. And I know I keep going back to that, but it was such a big bombshell, and I feel horrible that I couldn't share it with everybody. There is somebody else I need to find here. I need to find uh, these girls here and give them my my stuff. Black Sumerian ore. All right, you're not one of the people who usually does that. <laughs> You've got good taste. And with that Emperor Perch, we can get the Senen Gem. <laughs> Come again! Well, at least you're still happy, but the rest of us are kind of, uh, well, to say out of it is an understatement. Take a look then. And the thing with mm, Alkina, she said that she had gotten a call from the intelligence division. However, Miliam had also called looking for her. And with that, we collected all of the master quartz. Should be one more person to talk to. Now I just gotta find her again. Miss blonde haired girl, I think she's in car six. Let's check. Wow, 
Wow, you got so many! There we go. All right, let's see if there's anything else I need to uh, do while here. Uh, we need to talk to Sandy. She's supposed to give us something as well. The Vulcan Gem. Let's see, from here, well, let's see what the Vulcan Gem does. Gradual EP recovery on the field, so that's pretty nice. Would that be better than the ingenuity is the better question. Mars, okay, yeah. Actually, yes, it does lower her actual EP, but it does the gradual EP recovery and is better strength-wise and magic-wise. So I think I'll change that on her. Let's see. gonna do a quick safety save because we need to talk to the principal and by all accounts usually that's never a good thing let's see if we get our ass beat again never know when facing this woman let's see here she is over here but first things first let's heal up Refreshing. There we go. Alright, I think she's in car one. I believe that's where I saw her. We now rival the main campus. Well, a gift from His Majesty. Accept it with gratitude. Continue nice. to train hard.
Now, give it your all! Ha! Do our scan first, of course. It's my turn! Ha! Take this! There it's we my go. turn! Ha! I'm up! Well done! Perish! Take this! Well done! <laughs> Interesting. It's my turn! Ha! <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! Raging fire formation! Let's go! My mind is clear. My blade empty. Now! Action slash! Mortal leaves! Show me you can withstand this! Well, let's see if this auto killed me. If it does, then I'll know not to use uh, my S-Craft. Although I was pretty confident that that would have uh, killed her. I can't lose. Let's go! <laughs> well done. I don't For know how I sick, survived, I can't but... afford to lose! Ten thousand dollars and remastered the order gold dragon and his strength and defense went up all right well nothing left to do now but head to the big tree Becky what have you got to say
hopefully I won't enter another block scene uh, in the near future. Those are highly inconvenient. But they must do it for a reason. Hmm, we're in the cemetery. Breen! You guys! It's everyone from the old Class 7. I'm glad you made it out. Good work, Celine. It was nothing. Oh, so you all came with him? That's right! We may slow you down a little, however. Not at all. It will be a relief to have you with us. All this concerns you guys just as much as it does us. Milium isn't with you after all. Yes, she rushed off this morning, and I haven't been able to contact her since. <sighs> what in the world could she be doing at a time like this? When she called you, it seemed like she was worried about Ali. Right? Yeah, something's definitely going on. We'll just have to leave it to Milium for now. Yes. I'm worried. But I'm sure she'll be fine. <sighs> Let's head over here to Crow's Grave. Alright, and with that, I'm going to call the episode here. When we return, hopefully, we will continue on with the storyline. And hopefully, once again, we won't get into any more blocked cutscenes. Until then, I'm Zero Kai X, and we'll see you in the next one.